All right, guess we gotta go to Pavatsky to the Naderzhinskys. Uh, that is not the way to go. This game has been a, a true delight so far. I'm I'm really enjoying it. I didn't even notice that there. I truly didn't even see it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. I should probably be looking around for other side quests. Let's look at the map really quick. Um, actually, yeah, let's go back to the bar. Well, no, the barber doesn't have any of the inspiration quests, so. Mr. Shitsky. Make a retort. You're not exactly a morning lark yourself. Is Rasputin in? Sadly, yes. This character is my favorite character in the game. She cracks me up. At first, I felt like she was nagging me, but now, now I feel like we actually have a have a rapport. I hope that you've had a hospitable stay. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. <laughs> the Nadarzhinskys are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. I'll be back in a moment. I beg you, let's not prolong our departure. Time to talk to Rasputin. Am I bothering you? Not at all. I've just got a few people together who I can assist with their spiritual purification. <laughs> Have you come to get our friend? <laughs> Who's crying like that? A sinner, Victor. Bemoaning his poor choices and the temptations he succumbed to. I didn't invite you this time. I know you're in a hurry. Yes, I'll get her out of here. Watch out for yourself, too. Thank you. I like their relationship. I just, I like the friendships and relationships in this game, but despite being written like they're I deadly premonition characters, is state. like. You have. Deeply what interesting. Do I don't. I'd like. We'd better get a move on. Finally, don't forget my luggage. How many dresses and pairs of stockings do you need? As many as I'd like. I have some very profitable secrets in that chest. Blackmail? Insurance. Correspondence with various people who aren't entirely aware that I didn't burn their letters. Do uh, I understand that this time around I'll be lugging the chest myself? Hurry up. Don't look around. This ain't a museum. Head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. You pick some very interesting people to work with. What's that? From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right? <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Is there anything else around here? I just want to look around these areas and see if there's any perception to pick up. Because this is a slightly new area, I think, right? Oh no, it just, it looks kind of different. Announcement, work for university students at information careers editorial office. All right, so we have a few little 
things. What are the police doing here? Name Stern, Ekaterina, Peter, born in Petersburg, father's name Moja, Moisha, Moshe, mother's name Olga. I certify the person named in this identity card, Miss Ekaterina Stern, is a citizen of the Russian Empire, as stated by the Tsar. Zubov Antonina, seamstress, Warsaw, blah, blah, blah. Please order. To all units yesterday in the middle of the night, there was an attack on a barge transporting crates of ammunition in Port Praga. Send all available officers to the area. The gang most likely consisted of five people. I hope you know what you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling in as romantic as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. We gonna do something or just stand here and stare? The police at the entrance have me a little concerned. Did something happen we should worry about? Esos pinches pendejos can't keep their hands to themselves. Someone fucking filched a weapons transport, and now the police are shitting themselves. They're looking high and low, even <laughs> under hookers' skirts. <laughs> Somos profesionales. <laughs> we'll keep out of sight, and it'll be gone, Skeet. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love this character. So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers, Austrian ones, almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna bound train. He'll be there in a few days. Si, sí, bueno, as soon as we agree on the money. Your turn. Tell the gentleman about the compensation. You'll get my whole fortune. The appropriate paperwork will be yours as soon as I leave Warsaw. Toda? All of it? Meaning how much? Enough so you won't have to lift a finger for the rest of your life. What about the travel chest? Do we have to bring that? Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what I'm paying you for. So, all right. Vamos? If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed. And we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. He'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I'll do what? What you paid for. Via Candios, my friend. Agita Nar, Shaifella. Hmm. Why won't it let me out? Oh, that's why. My mouse buttons got swapped for some reason. There we go. That was weird. I was left clicking and it was giving me right click. My sensitivity is really high. There we go. That's better. That was really weird. All right, let's um. 
Let's look around really quickly. Is there are there any other places I can go to here, or is this like a kind of locked off area currently? Lost newspaper. The body of Polish Socialist Party. Regarding the matter of importance, we are all certain that we are living through a revolutionary moment, that the hour of resolute struggle against the Tsardom is near. We are so convinced of the indomitable spirit of our movement that we do not doubt for a moment the victory over the enemy and do not think about the dangers of the re revolutionary struggle. Indeed, our movement is invincible. Even if we suffer defeats along the way, in the end, the growing strength of the proletariat will overwhelm the forces of our enemies. Is there anything over here? Again, just really trying to be thorough. The environment has changed a little bit and it seems mostly, I don't know, slightly different than it was, so. Hmm. Ooh. Price list. We're so close to that second point. If I can get one more word point, we are so good. It would be great. Just look around while we're here. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's just, maybe the reason why it looks so different to me is because it's not raining. Because this is Pavishla, isn't it? Note with advertisement, apartment in the annex room is available now. Prefer tenants who are quiet without addictions and respectful of the night curfew. All right. And yes, I am purposefully ignoring them right now so that I can investigate around here and possibly get the level up before any of the next things we would have to do. That's locked. My question is, with all these locked buildings, will we actually get a chance to go inside them? Because there have been a lot. Not much to interact with up here. Yeah. Nope. Okay. I guess there's really nowhere else to go but to meet back up with Javier and uh, Svetlana. This game really makes me want to play Hard West. That, like, im-sim, top-down, weird West game. You damn wife fucker. You've ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. Two of you? I'll fuck you both up. I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Javier's on our side now. I don't need to worry about anything. Right, we got this. All right, um... Team counterattack. Nope, we do not want that. We are gonna do that, and then I'm gonna switch to you. Yeah, we're just gonna double double this up. Bang! It didn't break neither of his actions. Ah, uh, damn. All right. We need to attack him with Lelek. That's fine. And then him. Yeah, we'll just Venomous Strike. Just to hopefully break the, the status, which it didn't do. Ugh. All right, well, now that I have a bunch of status, we'll just use Lelek and I'll break him real quick. So. I wish he had four arms. That would be sick. Four or eight arms would make him better. That's the only way to improve that design. Uh, there we go. We'll do that. This guy is just going to get old wounded. All right. 
I'm just going to quick attack him. There we go. That's what we want. All right, and now I can attack with Uber to get health back if we need it. Oh no, there it's Bukovac. Damn it. Um Well, with Veles, we I need to gain health, so we'll just do this. Attack him there. That should deal a pretty solid amount of damage. And we're just going to immediately try to deal some more to him. And this should heal me after this. Right? Man, we are dealing a ton of damage to these people. I'm just gonna punch him. <laughs> 28 HP left, or re return to us, that's awesome. Alright, we're doing a great job. Alright. Uh, hey, Bukovac time. I'm oh, sure we'll just kill him before he can attack. He has one round of fortitude. What if I just try to break his attack again? Sure, break that and then, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Just interrupt. There we go, one interrupt. Give me both. Oh, I didn't. All right, that's a bummer. Uh, he's dead. Whatever, let's just do this. Okay, that didn't... There we go. Alright, we both survived. Very good. Have you ever considered celibacy? Your business would go better. But what kind of life would that be, senora? This is a great mod for this game. Would be to add in the Silent Hill Jam door sound effect for locked doors. If only I could interact with them. You can't interact with them at all. He's pooping. We're looking for anything to read so that I can gain some experience here. Why did that just auto save? <laughs> Okay, that's Ariel. It's nothing to interact with. There's nothing back here either. Okay. All right, they were back there. Yeah, we're probably fine. Boat can't hold that. There's no choice. If God wills it, a broom can shoot. Load it up. Vamonos. There's no time. I need another word with Victor. Senora. I wanted to thank you. I don't know anyone who'd risk his life for a stranger. If there's any way I can repay you. Just say the word. 
I don't want anything. I hope you make it safely to Vienna. I'm grateful, but I don't like being in debt. And I also believe you have the right to know. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back on the map. Do you understand what I mean? He was a patriot. I didn't expect he could have gotten involved with such a lofty idea. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people. One that might tilt the scales in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you for everything. Wait, who are these people? How can I find them? I don't know. They hide in the shadows. Good luck. I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Victor Shulski. Hmm. It's a very interesting conclusion to this story. Adieu. I like this quest a lot, and I like this character a lot. Keep an eye on those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? When a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Amigos. Is this Balbarith? His father's Sayador? Oh, Javier, no! Javier! Victor! actual persona fight it's real what the hell that's he hebrew so is that is this a golem I'm trying to figure out what mythical monster it is i can't read hebrew so in the world fascinating <laughs> it cuts away so we, they don't need to animate him jumping over you think they're dead they had no chance clad in clay and the fury of the sons of Israel will arise to crush their enemies. Get out of here. Golems follow blood. Okay. The farther away you are, the better. I don't believe it. Salutus can't physically manifest. Tell it to Javier. Look at this guy teaching Kabbalah to a Jew. That was a golem, you schmuck. <laughs> and it will pursue them. Until their blood is lost in the abysses of Sheol. You understand? What am I supposed to do to get rid of him? The golem is gonna look for you until he kills you. And all of those of your blood. That is, unless you can figure out why he was sent after you. You must have really gotten under somebody's skin. Hawat, maybe? I haven't done anything to anyone. Or Hyatt? That means someone of your blood did it. Do you hear me? 
Ask your blood. Get lost. You're not exactly my favorite person right now. Huh. So wait, did Svet want to die? Or did she get out? It was unclear. I guess there's nothing for me here. The Coterie. Svetlana claims that my father was a member of what he called the Coterie. The organization was supposedly thriving, for, striving for idealistic goals like Polish independence. Nonsense. I don't believe that Stanisław Shulski would have joined any organization that was formed for any purpose other than to satisfy his ego. Port Praga. If you're born to hang, you'll never drown, say the locals, which is why you won't find furtive glances, hesitating moments, or sensitivity in the hearts of the smugglers and porters of Praga. In this neighborhood, you cannot have doubts. You either go with the flow or to the bottom. Work by day, drink and hassle the authorities by night. Rotten planks sometimes give way. Typhoid and syphilis haunt you more than your own family. And wind and humidity from the river always find a gap in your clothes to grasp your throat. None of it matters. Though, as the good lord gave people spirits to warm their bodies and kindle the anger hidden within, hence the spiritual name. That's why among the dark water... Drab piers and shacks of smelling of slime and fish, you can sometimes spot a dash of color, the bloody red of broken noses or lacerated temples. We already read Povishla's before. I don't know what updated about that. Skip the toilet of everyday life. Povishla regulars indulge in gambling, betting on illegal boxing matches are held in man makeshift ring in one of the warehouses. That was the sentence that was added. Interesting. Perhaps that could be also credited to Ariel Rolf. Ariel Rofa, he popped into my head. Uh, he literally, when I was looking for smuggles, smugglers in Povishla, an exceptional person, a brilliant thaumaturge, he has a salutor, Dibuk. He promised to introduce me to Javier. Ariel played a trick on me by introducing me to Barchik. He turned out to be the smuggler I'd been looking for, Javier. They both had a great time as I'd kept fighting off different opponents. They'd better agree to help Svetlana. They both agreed they'll help arrange Svetlana's escape. The escape had a dramatic ending. A golem physically manifested. I still cannot believe it actually happened. Rofa said the golem was a Jewish salutor that follows the blood. Mine or my relatives. Okay, Javier and Svetlana both died. He's actually Javier, a smuggler recommended by Abaritza. Notorious for smuggling contraband across partition borders. Javier the Smuggler is Javier Sanchez Villa Conejito Ramirez from Pauvisla. There's so many different languages that I need to, that I keep accidentally. Like, this is cruel because this is a H sound in Spanish, but a Y sound in Polish. So it's like all of these, this whole name right here is just supposed to be read in a completely different way than the rest of the text that I've been reading. Speaks quite good Polish. He agreed to arrange Svetlana's escape. Okay. Well, that's really bad. Everything that just happened was profoundly bad, actually. I have to get out of the port. Something's happened on the pier. You think we didn't hear you? Now shut your trap or you'll get the police on our asses. Yeah, we pay them not to see us, but not enough to ignore these kinds of shenanigans. And what else are you going to tell them, moron? Your home address? Shut it and pack up. Okay. Okay. More experience. Smuggler's boat. The boat is full of boxes. With hands trembling in fear, they were throwing packages onto the boat. What was that strange noise from the pier? One package almost flew into the water. Someone's about to detect them. One more slip up and the whole elaborate plan would go to hell. All right, it looks like there's like a little side quest here too. So we'll play around with this. Try to pull as much as we can. Illegal cargo, whatever is in those packages, there's little chance it's legal. Fuck. Was that the sound of a fuck up? Shouldn't we check it out? Like hell we should. They don't pay me enough for that. You, stop. Papers, please. I thought I wouldn't have to resort to this, but since you insist. Of course, sir. We are sorry. Go right ahead. We should be... We should have attacked them to get the experience for it. Mm.
there was a thing right here to interact with, but I guess I lost it because I walked past them. It is a bummer that you get experience for fighting. So by avoiding fights, by using stuff like that, it seems like you're losing out on experience, which will screw, the, screw you more in the end. All right, hey, yeah, sure, let's go. I was looking for a fight. Useless, useless, ooper. Okay, we'll start with Bukovac. Let's do that to immediately damage him. And we'll quick attack him. That went great. Okay, perfect. That gave him suffering, which is great. That did not break him, unfortunately. Ouchie. Big damage. Big damage. All right. Um, he'll get killed by the suffering. Break that. Ooper. Attack. Ugh. <sighs> didn't break his attack I, I this is for uh, something that's supposed to work 50% of the time it really isn't working 50% of the time <laughs> right. that's enough to like, get me through the rest of the fight though which is good okay good Good, broke his attack. No. Heal myself a little bit and then, okay, that didn't kill him. I was sure that would. Oh, all right. So he has fortitude, which is gonna be really brutal. Let's just venomous strike him. Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. We did it. We did it. Woo! Gamer and stuff figured out that it's a traditional phrase on the golem's forehead. That makes sense. Again, I, I can't read Hebrew, so I have no idea what it's supposed to actually say. I do know that there are like traditional things that go on like different pieces of clothing and um, you know, like I don't know what they're called. But there are like prayer, uh, like totems or like objects that um, some Orthodox Jewish people will use during prayer. So, and I, I've seen the Hebrew on them before, like on planes and stuff. But like w when I was on planes, on flights with people um, that, that practice that kind of faith. But I don't know. Don't even think of reaching for your magic book. Fania's pistol has a very sensitive trigger. The second he moves, I'll blow his brains out, Chief. Chief! Let's do our best not to have Vanya shoot you in the head. All right. All you have to do is tell us where Svetlana Petrovna is. I'm running to a phone. There's been an accident. I think the pier collapsed. Was Svetlana Romancova there? I'm afraid uh, Svetlana is dead. Are you sure? She went down with a boat and didn't resurface. Lie. Victor, I'll be honest with you. That woman was a Gordian knot. 
I know that she spent years compiling all sorts of compromising material against the Tsar's government. She was a traitor. We were observing her, but she managed to get everything out of her apartment. I need to know if her knowledge could threaten the security of the nation. If you want something from me, you just need to ask. I have a better idea. You tell me what you know, and I... I know where your papa's little black book is. Quid pro quo? I want to know who stole my father's grimoire. This time, you go first. As far as I know, all Svetlana's secrets went with her to the bottom of the Vistula. <sighs> Should we take him to the Citadel, Chief? No, Vanya. We'll finish this here. What? What? <laughs> Why did you help Svetlana? The emotions linking her to my father seemed sincere to me. I trusted her. Man, what if you were wrong? Maybe your father got together with her because I told him to. God damn. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you that your father didn't trust her? No, I wouldn't. This character is so cool. This game is so interesting. What? <laughs> what? I was, I'm so, this is the Americans level of complex character interactions. What the fuck? <laughs> you first. Why did you kill him? I never liked him. And he shouldn't know so much. Quid pro quo, Chief. Where's my father's grimoire? Look for it in uh, Stanislav's circle of old friends. People who could take advantage of a missing grimoire. Thaumaturges. Do you know who they are? Where I can find them? No. But, once you do, don't neglect to inform me. And watch out. They're very dangerous people. I need to get out of here. <laughs> that was bananas. This is a bizarre game. This is so interesting. I I am very impressed with the character writing in this game. This is it, this is profoundly cool. I I genuinely like this a lot. All right, it doesn't even let me set the side quests right now. Yeah, I can't I can't even set the side quests. So there's nothing else. There's nothing I'll be able to do in Port Praga re inspiration or anything. Which probably means I will never be able to come back here, is my guess. I don't know about that. Because there there were locked doors here, but... God damn. That was wild. I'm really genuinely impressed with the character writing in this game. The, the dialogue is very goofy and the characters are very silly. But I really like the, uh, the character writing quite a bit. This stuff is good. This is a good ass game. All right, so this is telling me to go home. Look around for stuff. Hey. 
Going to the tailors. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I won't bother you. All right. It doesn't seem like there's really anything else new. I'm very nervous that we're going to progress stuff too far and I'm not going to be able to reopen the case. So I am kind of going out on a limb here. But I think that I'm slightly past a point of no return if there is one because I don't think I can wait. So I can't change the time of day. So I can't reopen the case in Pavishla. And because I can't get back to Pavishla. So, huh. All very interesting. We're just, lo I'm looking around. Ooh, there's stuff. What is this? That wasn't too hard. Geometry handbook. A worn book with tear marks on the cover. It's a good thing geometry exists, an ideal that bitter words can't destroy. Although his parents are clipping his wings, he believes he'll find he'll be a great mathematician one day and find a safe haven among perfect rhombuses, soothing circles, and friendly trapezoids. A dream within a dream. Longing for dreams, daydreaming, wishing for what is out of reach, a foulard dyed with synthetic malvein will enliven the silhouette. Black wool pants will add class, and a diamond pattern vest will provide some contrast. A new era is coming. Man no longer needs to dress modestly. Hey, okay. I just unlocked something for the tailor. Maybe this will be enough to just push me just barely over the skill point because it looked like I was very close. I knew there was going to be stuff back there again. I just needed to check. Let's talk to him. Please give me the second skill point just so that I can be at word five. Please. Mr. Schultz. I won't bug. All right. All right, interesting. Never mind then. Ignore everything I said. I'm not, un I'm not sure I understand the inspiration quests if there's no... If they're just always tied to the, the fashion books, what are these then? Is it maybe new haircuts? I don't, I have no idea. Let's go back inside. Ah, you're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I was boring your charming sister with my chatter. Ah, oh, nonsense. I'll leave you two alone. You look tired. Is everything all right? Do you need my help? This has been an especially difficult night for me. Is everything all right with Shetwana? Why do you ask? You two left without saying goodbye. Did something happen? I saw a golem. A golem? Yes, and it turned out to be a very real Weird. Center. A material one. I didn't think that was even possible. And what does it have to do with Svetlana? There's a weird I'm skip. I'm afraid Svetlana is dead. <sighs> I was afraid of this. Did the golem kill her? You could say that. The golem sank her boat by collapsing the roof over the pier. Svetlana intended to live off of selling other people's secrets. Secrets can be deadly. Do you want to know what she shared with me? You're not proposing blackmailing anyone with anything, are you? Nonsense. Of course not. As I told you, I want the world to see my truth. I want to stop the annihilation of countless human beings. But on my own, I am like Cassandra. Yet, with Svetlana's knowledge and you by my side, no one will have any choice but to believe me. I'm intrigued. The question is, can you bear the burden that she also carried? 
I've really got a lot on my shoulders. My father's secrets, his lover's death, the Ochrana, and now a golem. I think I can bear this too, if it lets me get rid of the other problems. Hmm. Can you say which secret of Svetlana's you mean? She had a whole chest full of them. That wasn't in the chest. And now it's only in my memory. Huh. Will you tell me what this is about? Not here, no. Get some rest first. At our next meeting, at the Narizhinskys. It's safe there, for now. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. See you again soon, my friend. One more question. Might this golem cause you any trouble? I'm sure I'll find out soon. Hmm. I think we need to have a word. Yes, I got the next thermaturgy point. How do you know people like this, Rasputin? <laughs> How long was he here? He arrived shortly before you did. Unexpectedly, he scared Grazina. I received him in the salon so that he wouldn't go wandering through the house. What were you talking about before I interrupted you? What difference does it make? About... <sighs> Strange. I don't remember even. Sometimes he has that effect on people. <sighs> What kind of person is he? He's that miracle worker I was writing to you about. The one who helped me return to my senses. Not completely, I think. Given that you brought him with you. He just came to see me. I owe him a lot. It looks like he knows you better than I do. Grigori is a good friend of mine. I owe him my life. He can visit me whenever he likes. With friends like that, looking for enemies sounds like a pointless bother. First Nyejits, now a gloomy hermit. And ladies of the night have started hanging around outside the windows. Are they also friends of yours? Who are those women? Horus, Victor. Prostitutes. Women of easy virtue, daughters of Corinth, courtesans, moths, hookers, floozies. <laughs> I've been seeing two girls around here recently. They stand out on the street and peek into our windows. Maybe Abaurus is playing a prank. This can wait. Ligia, I'm really dead on my feet, but there's one more thing we need to have a word about. I wonder what I don't know yet. How long have you known your chief? What does that matter? So you knew he worked for the Ochrana? Yes. You'd have found in the end anyway, but he asked me not to tell you right away. I understand that each of us has various relationships we're tangled up in. But I think we should start talking about them more often. <laughs> Agreed. I'll only add that a contact like him is very useful in business. Hmm. I'm guessing he knows how to arrange contacts for you. I'm sure he often invites you to all sorts of soirees and receptions, right? I don't always accept. It seems like we've each got our own miracle worker. I know who he is, and I treat him very cautiously. Plus, we've already established that you don't report to me about your acquaintances. Besides, it was Papa who introduced him to me all those years ago. What's the real reason we're talking about Konechkin? Did Konechkin know our father long? Ever since you left to live with Mother in Paris. Someone clearly had to clean up after you and Abauritsa. Maybe there's no point in dwelling on the past. I saw him once more, at Port Praga. Uh, what were you doing there? Hmm. 
Um, catch you later, piecemeal. Thanks so much for watching. Let's see. I was tracing father's missing grimoire. Someone sent a golem after him. And now that person is trying to find us, too. Why? That's what I have to find out. Did you know that someone sent a golem after our family? A golem? <laughs> the kind from Jewish legends? This one was very real. It destroyed half the port while it was trying to kill me. Port Praga? Are you alright? What were you doing there? I helped Fiatwana. She wanted to flee the country. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do you know what forces you're playing with? You know full well who she is. Who she was. Sorry, what? Svetlana is dead. She was just setting off on a lovely voyage when a golem appeared and... Svetlana is dead. We're finished. They'll put us both in prison. What will become of us? What about Uncle Sasha? He's always eager to help. It's too risky to arrange this through family. And morally dubious. I'm afraid this is outside his purview. Maybe your devoted secret police chief will reveal something. Perhaps you should ask him. Yes, I know he's from the Ukraine. He's bragged to me about it himself. Well, maybe your magic monk is up to something, hmm? No, I've had enough. Don't say another word. I desperately need to be alone right now. Why are my cigarettes? Well, Tis, Sis is mad at us. Who, he, who does not lose does not gain. Okay. Oh, okay, so we didn't lose these side quests yet. That's good. We love that. And I'm able, am I able to change my side quests yet? No. Just look around real quick. Nothing new. And now I can get word five. Yes, okay. We should be able. We can't leave yet, but we should be able now to finish up all everything else. Burglar. Are you lost? Fuck. Don't try to be a hero, and it'll be all right. You're outnumbered. <laughs> Quantity doesn't always translate to quality. Call the rest. We got one with a death wish. <laughs> this guy's like New York Brooklyn accent is super funny. <laughs> All right, these look at these schmucks. Let's let's get them. Let's get them. Uh, we're in a village. Yeah. I'm just gonna interrupt him. Bang. Enemy reinforcements are on the way. <laughs> Forty five damage, let's go. Let's try to just interrupt his attack. I give him suffering. Is this gonna break it? Nope. Damn. All right. Uh, it's open time. Yeah, I'll do this.
There we go. We beat him. Alright, enemy reinforcements. Bukovach and Velleth. See what happens there. And then we'll do this. So that gives us fortitude. And they can't even deal damage to us. They're just going to inflict damage over time currently. Okay. Good. We broke his action. Um... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Break. Perfect. Okay. Uh, switch to Bukovac. Pow. Good. Took him out. Trait disabled. He'll attack us once, but now we can pretty easily deal with him. Switch back to Uber. Give me my health back. Put him into suffering. There we go. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Victor? I heard a noise. Are you all right? I'm fine. We've had a few unwelcome visitors. Burglars? What's wrong with this town? I'll call uncle. There's no rush. I don't think they'll try to rob anyone any time soon. All right, well, we took care of the burglars. Now we just uh, have nap time, I guess. Is that what's going on? 